Hello and welcome to my art process series. This is episode one, so you haven't missed anything yet. But in the series, I just want to, I really want to show you how I do a drawing, how I, just how I go about things and um, just share with you the, the process. Some of them will be sped up, some of them I'll walk you through it. Uh, today's one will be sped up quite quickly. But while I was busy editing this video, I just realized that some of these sped up drawings like can give us such a false expectation that, wow, that person really knew what they were doing when they did that. When really, it's very possible that they were winging it. So I just want to be honest and say in what you're about to see, I was 100% winging it. And I actually want to encourage you to pause every now and then and just see what it looks like. Because usually while you're working on something in the beginning stages, there are times where you just want to stop and be like, this is not going to work. And let me tell you, in the beginning, I felt like that multiple times. Um, at the end, I was very happy with my results. So let me not keep jabbering on. Let's get to it. <laughs> Alrighty, here we are, and uh, before I even say anything else, <laughs> please excuse the horrible condition of my nails. Um, in hindsight, I realize I probably should have redone them before filming this, but after I was about halfway through this drawing, I'm like, there's no going back now that we are, it's not going to happen. So please, please don't judge me. <laughs> um, Anyway, like, like I was saying earlier, there's something about these sped up drawings that sort of gives us a false impression, really. I mean, if you had to pause this drawing right here, it actually looks terrible. It, it doesn't look amazing. It doesn't look great. It's not the picture you're going to post on Instagram, you know, but, but this is the process we all go through. There is a stage where everyone's drawing looks, you know, like that. And I've learned the biggest thing that I've ever learned is to embrace the process. Honestly, to to keep working at it, to keep trying at it. I mean, how many pieces of paper have we all tossed in the dustbin? Just because, you know, the beginning part frustrated us. How, how many more artworks would we have if we just hung in there and we stuck it out and we really, we really believe that maybe if I keep working on it, maybe something can come of this. Now, yes, I know sometimes it just doesn't work, but there are times where I think we just quit too early. We, we look at the process and we, we let it go. But this is life, right? Life is process and process is messy and it doesn't always look great. And sometimes you've got to wing it and art is very much the same. It really is. I think that's why art is such a powerful expression is it forces you to embrace process there's no way around it <laughs> you you are in process if you are creating an artwork there, there's nothing you can do to avoid it here at this point is where I'm starting to get a bit of hope and I'm like okay I okay the style is starting to grow on me I'm starting to like it let's let's keep going uh, I didn't really plan for it to look like this when I was working on it um, I had I don't know, maybe a more refined look in my mind. And uh, yeah, as I was working on it, I realized that the the fine line actually gives such a nice and an amazing ability to give you texture, which is exactly why I love drawing elephants in general. Um, I've drawn a lot of them with pencils specifically, never with pen. So this is a new new experiment for me. But now that I have, I I really really enjoyed it. And I um, can't really wait to do another one. Actually, this was so good. I really, really enjoyed this. Now, while I was working on this, I had an idea in mind, and I wanted to, I wanted to color it with, with um, liquid ink. So with a with an acrylic drawing ink, uh, which I just kind of treat like a watercolor, and we'll see that just now. So I'm not being too pedantic with, you know, how dark I'm shading there. I want you to know that that's a dark shadow, but. I really, I really want to be rough with it. I really want to enhance that 
textured feeling of the elephant skin. But this is the scary part, right? Is especially when you're going to do a mixed media thing and you're going to use two different things is I mean, you, you're working on this like here I am, like I'm scribbling for days. I'm really trying to <laughs> I'm really trying to get this thing right. And now I'm just going to, you know, let's add some some pain to it. And wow, that's scary, because if you mess that up, then what the heck? I just wasted my time. But it's scary, but it's exciting because you don't know what you're going to get, especially the first time. And this is the first time that I've tried this in this way. Um, I think what I also really enjoy about this style of drawing is like I, I'm very detail oriented. I love detailed drawings. I really, really do. But um, just keeping it loose like this kind of forces me to, to, to let go of my reference a little bit, you know, and, and to just embrace what I feel. You know, to feel the lines, to feel where you want to go with it. And to actually actually just have the confidence to go there. You know, um, which, which for me, it's something I'm very much still trying to grow into. <laughs> I really, really am. So yeah, I'm just like checking the last little details. Um, add a little bit of dots, add a little bit of lines extra. And uh, yeah, now it's time for stage two of this little process. Once again, please don't judge my nails, but um, I just quickly grabbed what I had on hand. I have this little palette and then my my drawing ink. I got this as a gift. I have no idea if I'm using it right, but you know, it's working out so far. So <laughs> even if I'm doing it wrong, I don't feel like it's it's ending too badly. So <laughs> I'm OK with it. And uh, I just use one brush and I, I'm not going to get too fussy with this. I did, however, forget to <laughs> press my record button for the first part of this. And all I did is I just made a very light gray um, base. I'm not working on watercolor paper here. So, you know, the absorbency of the paper isn't the best. It's still quite a thick paper. It's a specific art paper. So it can handle it quite well, but I'm very careful not to soak it. And I'm giving it time to absorb properly before I put another layer on. And also just honestly <laughs> always start off light just for your own peace of mind um, because it's it's so much easier to hide something that you lightly painted in as opposed to something that's super dark but yeah anyway guys that's me that's my process i really hope you've you've enjoyed watching this i've really enjoyed sharing it with you uh, i've got a real passion for these things I like to show people the process. I like to show people that it doesn't just start off amazing when you look at something. It doesn't start off great. There is process involved. So if you'd like to see more of these, let me know in the comments below. And remember to like this video if you enjoyed it. And if you'd like to see more, don't be shy to hit that subscribe button. I'd love to get to know you a bit better on this platform. Thanks for watching. I so appreciate you. I appreciate the love. And uh, I'll see you again on the next episode. Keep it creative. <laughs>